Throughout the many Pokemon games, there has been a strange occurrence that seems to fascinate many people, one you wouldn't expect to see. For the most part, Pokemon is a pretty tame series with not a lot of aspects of horror, which makes this all the more creepier. What exactly am I talking about? The many cases of Ghost Girls in the Pokemon series, many of these cases remain unsolved, but today I'd like to discuss the most infamous case, an incident that I'm sure a lot of you remember, the mystery of the Lumio City Ghost Girl. October 12, 2013. Pokemon X and Y had just been released worldwide. The overwhelming amount of hype around this time was insane. This was the first mainline handheld Pokemon game that would be in 3D. Notice I said handheld. People all around the world rushed to be the first to get their hands on this game. However, some players made a horrifying discovery. Early on in the game, you'll reach Lumio City a city based off of Paris, France. People struck with awe exploring the massive city looking at the architecture and the aesthetic were soon to be filled with dread. Upon entering an unassuming office building and going up to the second floor, they were met with her. When you step foot onto the floor, the music stops and the silence that follows is unbearably loud. Soon after the lights begin to flicker, a hex maniac seemingly out of nowhere appears right behind you. Something's off about her though. She lacks a walking animation. She makes her way down and mutters the phrase, no. You're not the one. Before she floats off screen, never to be seen or mentioned again. This naturally caused distress and confusion in the Pokemon community. Theories popping up left and right. Who is this? Why is she here? Everyone wants to know. Who is this ghost girl? The Pokemon community did what it does best and began to speculate. This was such a creepy thing to experience in a Pokemon game, especially if you don't know about it. A popular theory was that the Hex Maniac was looking for a specific trainer ID. If you don't know, each player is assigned a completely unique trainer ID. It was theorized that whoever had the correct ID would receive an incredibly rare ghost type legendary Pokemon. However, there's no concrete evidence of this, even after data mining. The only way this theory would be plausible is if X and Y got the Z version it deserved. There were many cuts made to X and Y that were planned to be in a Z version, but we never got to see that. AZ's Floet is an example of unused Z content, and I doubt we'll ever get to see it appear in the game ever again. However, fans quickly realized that there was a similar NPC to that of our ghost girl in question. You're able to find another hex maniac on the fourth floor of the hotel located in Lumio City. She says, don't talk to me. If you do, I won't hear the elevator. Which in and of itself is pretty creepy. What is she planning to do exactly? Jump someone? Anyway, strange agendas aside, I don't think this is the ghost girl. I'm fairly certain that this is just a hex maniac trainer class that coincidentally makes reference to an elevator. The first ghost girl was waiting for us on the second floor, and the only way to get there was using an elevator, so people naturally linked the two while desperately searching for answers. And if that wasn't far-fetched enough, other players believed that a hidden message you could find at the Lumio City train station is also linked to this whole apparition, which is just complete nonsense. Yeah, sure, the second hex maniac spoke of an elevator, which at least somewhat links her to the original ghost girl. But what does this one have to do with anything? The message just reads, I'm gonna go for help. Wait in the usual place. That could have been anyone! Hell, I could have wrote it! Alex Matrix could have wrote it! Isn't that right, Alex? Hey guys. So if we can't trust those two other incidents, then what can we trust? Well, a year after the release of X and Y, there was a Japanese exclusive website called Pokemon Horror Spot. The website was used for a seasonal Halloween type thing with a bunch of cool art, merch, and whatnot. It even had some creepy Lavender Town music, which was nice. But there is a segment of the website called Ask a Hex Maniac. It basically just goes over the creepy events that have happened in the past Pokemon games leading up to X and Y. In this subsection of the website, we are given a Hex Maniac as our guide. Her name is Hitomi and she essentially just gives her thoughts, answers questions, and gives comments on these anomalies. This isn't actually the only time we hear from Hitomi. In 2017, there was a similar event called Pokemon Mystery Files. However, this was also only Japanese exclusive, so I don't blame you if you don't remember her. Anyways, the Lumio City Ghost Girl is featured in Pokemon Horror Spot, so what does Hitomi have to say about her? I can't read Japanese, so... I had to use Google Translate to read what it said, so the translation I'm giving might be a little rough. But it basically just says that in Lumio City, she went to the second floor and everything became quiet. Then a mysterious ghost girl appeared. A separate heading reads that in a certain building, you can meet Soul, which I originally thought to be the name of the ghost girl, but I did some deeper digging on the name Soul, and apparently that isn't actually a name. The katakana is Sore, which roughly translates to that. Apparently, she wasn't even worthy of a name. Another heading says, this was the only time I met you, which can mean one of two things. Either she's referring to the ghost girl, 
or us. It's possible that Hitomi is the ghost girl from Lumio City. I think it makes more sense for her to be referring to the reader in this instance as it'd be a little weird for Hitomi to refer to the ghost girl as you instead of that like she did before. In other parts of the website, it's often written in second person when she's referring to the reader, so it just kind of keeps in theme. From what I've gathered from this website, I've come to two conclusions. Either Hitomi also encountered the ghost girl in Lumio City and is reporting on it, or the one I personally like, maybe Hitomi is the Lumio City ghost girl. When she went to go look for the ghost girl in Lumio City, of course she wasn't going to find her because it is her. So when we walk in, she says, no, you're not the one. The one referring to the ghost girl. I wanted to know what the dialogue read in the Japanese version of the game during the ghost girl event. What I found was a little different to what we have in English. It roughly translates to, you are not, or you are different which doesn't really shed any more light on this whole situation. Though it's probably just Google Translate being Google Translate. If anyone can actually read Japanese, please let me know in the comments. I'm dying to know. Yes, I do read all the comments. I also went ahead and searched for what the unrelated hex maniac in the hotel had to say, and she said something along the lines of, don't let the elevator go unnoticed, or she's not an elevator one making more sense than the other. Again, a pretty rough translation, but hey, I tried. Since we aren't able to find any more evidence in the game itself, we're stuck, right? Well, actually, no. A year after this whole incident went down, we still had no answers. So Kotaku had an interview with Junichi Masuda and just straight up asked him. When asked about the ghost girl, he simply replied, we didn't put anything like that in the game. Huh? When shown the video of the Lumio City ghost girl, he watched intently. And when the ghost girl showed up, he just laughed and went, ooh multiple times in fact, and just laughed it off and didn't address it. What a way to dodge. What I personally think of this whole situation is that the ghost girl was just a little Halloween gag. I mean, think about it. The game was released in October, a few weeks before Halloween. Lumio City is really early on in the game, so a lot of new players would have found it relatively fast. It's never addressed anywhere else and nobody really mentions it. And when Masuda was asked about it, he just laughed, hinting that this was just a funny little gag Game Freak decided to put in the game. He even went along with it, basically saying, what ghost girl? In Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, on the first floor of Mount Pyre, we meet a hex maniac who says a phrase we're all too familiar with. She says, no, you're not the one. But she doesn't disappear or anything at all, really. This might just be a hex maniac who has heard Hitomi's story of the ghost girl. Hitomi stated that her story was extremely popular, so it's only natural other hex maniacs would be fascinated by it as well. I mentioned before that Hitomi was also featured in Pokemon Mystery Files, but how much do we really know about her? The Pokemon community as a whole isn't aware of her existence whatsoever. I couldn't even find anything about her on Bulbapedia. Now that's how you know she's obscure. Though if she mysteriously gets added after this video, I just want to say... I contributed. Also, I just want to add that I cannot search Hex Maniac without immediately coming across Rule 34 artwork of her. You sick fucks. The only people that are aware of Hitomi's existence is people who know about Pokemon Horror Spot or Mystery Files or the fucking Mude Discord bot. How is Hitomi gonna be on the Mude Wiki? but not Bulbapedia. It's a work, guys. We can't let this happen. I think it's fair to assume that the two other hex maniacs have nothing to do with the Lumio City Ghost Girl, as the Pokemon Horror Spot website would have at least hinted at a possible connection. However, maybe there's more to this mystery than we may think. Go ahead and share your thoughts in the comments, like the video while you're at it, and watch this video I made about the absolute worst Pokemon to have as pets in the real world. I promise you won't be disappointed.